Hello, England. Embrace me in your furious love. I'm Steve Rogenbach. I'm basking in your eternal glory of life and love. Flarf poetry is poetry thing going on. I don't know whether to call it a movement or school or tendency or what style. But um, started about like 10 years ago when somebody did an intentionally bad poem. Um, they submitted it to one of these sites where it's like a vanity press. You submit it and then they tell you that you achieve the next level of the contest and you're going to get your poetry in a book and you can buy the book and all this. And um, so they did that and that was a lot of fun. And then somebody else, Drew Gardner, I think, uh, started doing uh, poems made out of Google search results. Like you type in uh, a combination of unlikely terms or that, would, that you'd think would bring up some funny search results. <clears throat> and then you go through the search results and copy and paste out little fragments and sentences and paste and build those together into a poem. And the poems look kind of like normal structure of poems, you know, um, but they would be kind of, they. I mean, there'd be a lot of abrupt cuts in the language and it'd be all this found language, um, <clears throat> misspellings and um, cliche and all this. Um, so I'm just going to read one of my favorite uh, Flarf writers, this is K. Salem Muhammad. So this is called Abstract Poetics. I believe I will write some poetry. I heart Beth and her hippie-ass poetry. I shit on his slash her oh-so-sensitive poetry and they cry. Hell yes, I rejected your fucked-up ass. Get your big-ass head out of the fridge. Pull your head out of your bloated capitalist ass. Have her get fuck? Well, gee whiz, you motherfucking punk-ass snitch. I fucking hate you. I can find you and kick your lily ass. I might just kick your ass tonight. Your shit is for sale and no joke, ass wipe. Leaving your ass in the dust, what the fuck you gonna do? Take a big wet bite out of my ass is what? A firm believer in head pounding, ass kicking, a blast. We're gonna kick your ass, you sucker. Over here, it's all dumb shit, metal slash rap, teen pop. Kiss my ass, hardcore and black metal. Spoken in the universal language of dumb shit. Oh lord, I was on some fucking strong ass drugs. I've been a complete dim-witted metal shithead. What you really hate is having a dumb shit who thinks I am not the part of him that kisses your ass. <clears throat> now that my ass has received a new audience with my M.A. in dumb shit studies... I've even been writing bad love poetry again. Head into the shining future ass first. Driving that vroom vroom bright ass rice rocket. Get off this fucking stupid ass mailing list. Actually write a book of poetry or something. Kiss every ass in sight and continue to worship me. I wrote some poetry and shit that was real evil. If you came to my church, you'd shit in the art barn. You write some really great poetry. You kick ass. And I've done this in different ways, but when you break it, like, I found that, like, what I liked most about the Flarf books I was reading was the, the, the funniness of the individual lines way more than the way that they, like, jumped between them, you know? Um, so then I just focused on the one line at a time, like, and I, I, I'll often bring in a visual element, too. So... Here's, this is usually on a computer. I happen to have a print off. This is the image macro. Um, it says, so, Tumblr is being a fuckface today. Cool. And it's this woman using this, like, army computer. And then this is the same picture. It says, get in the frickin' Pokeball. Um... <clears throat> and so these these were both found from like not Google search results. These were actually from Twitter search. Um, but you know, same online found language, one line at a time though, instead of combining them all together. Um, this is another one. Watch this, sh watch this shit, you little asshole. Lol. It's got Barack Obama playing with the dog. With my life. And this one. Miley Cyrus is back on frickin' Twitter. She did come back. She was gone for a while. 
Now, this is old news by now, but I'm just saying. So these <clears throat> image macros, um, I haven't been doing them too much lately, but I was big on them in the summer and last spring. I have this book, and it's actually like pretty much out of copies now. So you can read it online, though. The name is the URL, downloadhelveticafforfree.com. This book is short fragments of text also, but these are actually not from internet text, not just random internet text that I thought was funny. This is from my MSN Messenger history, mainly um, with my girlfriend at the time. Uh, I may go into advertising, but I don't like the commercial aspect. You know, so I went through like 10,000 lines of chat and just found all these fragments that I liked. I'm nocturnal like raccoons. I thought of you today when I was listening to some guy's conversation. Try to catch me riding dirty, babe. That's reference to Chameleon Air. Rap. Crap song. My math homework was easy. Graphing linear equations from slope intercept form. I am folding underwear in between sending you messages. I see you added my friend Kim on MySpace. She's awesome. I am drinking orange juice. Transfer of tires.jpg is complete. I want to sled with you and be in the same sled. Thank you very much. Um, my website is livemylife.com, L-I-E-F.com, and I hope you have a great effing day. Cook, cook me on your hearth. You know, cook, cook me alive.